Nara lost her hearing overnight. You went to bed with a fever one night. When I collected her from school, the teacher told me that I might want to bring her to the hospital because the teachers found out that she couldn't hear anything. It was like the world turned upside down. When she first became deaf, they gave her hearing aids. They didn't really do anything for her, but it's sort of the initial step before getting cochlear implants. She had to go to mapping sessions, practicing using the device and giving her brain and body time to adjust. With the first implant, she wasn't using it fully until maybe two or three months after the initial surgery. Zara now attends a school for the deaf. It's a bilingual school. They learn through Auslan and English. It's a school specifically for deaf and hard of hearing children from prep all the way to grade 12. What's special about your school? They have deaf and, and, deaf and hearing teachers. Mm -hmm. We use sign language most of the time. Some teachers like to speak and sign. Mm -hmm. So at school, Zara utilizes a myriad of technology, FM systems. Instead of bells, they'll have flashing lights, bilateral cochlear implants, of course. She has the iPad, and on the iPad, they use a multitude of apps for literacy, for mathematics. So when Zara watches TV or DVDs, or even her, on her iPad, she can watch videos and utilize a hearing loop. It's almost like a necklace that just plugs into the headphone jack. The sound goes directly into her speech processor, so I don't have to listen or hear any of the sound from the TVs. Do our family live in Australia? No. So what do we do? We Skype. We Skype. It would be very difficult for her to hear or access sound on a telephone. She can see their faces and she can lip read to a certain extent as well. But it's just a great way of keeping in touch with our family. She wouldn't be able to otherwise. I like fun stuff, swimming, because it's fun you can dive and you can do it with your friends. I love riding my bike in the park. Well, I think her life would be very different without technology. As parents, we're always going to be a little bit behind children, especially teenagers. They seem to find out about the new and latest thing faster than we do. So it's really important as parents to do our research, to make sure that we're utilizing everything that we possibly can to increase her access to communication, to education, to the wider world.